Hi to Chaco. Flags. Do we have a Korean flag now, Lucifer? Korean flag, please. A player's forces are under attack. Come on, can we get that Korean flag? Where's that flag? Hello? We have the death net already out, we have the archbishop already creeping. What? Did I do something wrong? Lucifer. Oh, I did netties. Oh, I'm Please. such a noob, guys. It's not netties, it's Northrend. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can get the flag now. Give me this flag. Give me that Korean flag, please. There it is. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful game. Beautiful finals. Best of five. Death Knight already got the replenishment potion from the creep camp. The Archmage already here. He is uh he got a nice 144 XP from this creep camp and a circlet of nobility. Death Knight takes a bit of damage. That's nice. That's nice for uh at least that's nice for the Lannister for Blade. Your Death Storm. Okay, there's some skeletons. Skeletons fall apart. Okay. What is this? There's an acolyte. Does he get fiends already? Yeah, there's the first fiend. Pretty standard so far. And he kills Mr. Piggy. Archman's just attacking the skeleton for so much damage. Over here, the water elemental and the militia here killing this forest soul trapper. And this, uh, I mean, it's beautiful. The skeleton going down slowly. Archmage level two. We have, uh, you know, the death knight. Does he get the last coil? He does get a coil. He does get the kill. And the Archmage picks up a circle though. Death knight just needs 40 more XP and he's level two. Two more peasants. Well, does he get this one? The skeletons are all falling apart. Oh, this, I feel like maybe this peasant could have uh, survived there with a little bit better micro here for Blade. But no, he didn't do a little bit better micro. So the peasant died. But the Death Knight still needs one more peasant. He has a lot of skeletons because this this fiend have, has backpack. He's like a dog. He just brings his uh, rod of necromancy to the Death Knight. Death Knight's pretty long hit point, so... There's another fiend. I mean, I hope that's not an insult to the fiends calling them dogs. I mean, the spiders. I wonder if calling them a dog is like a compliment or maybe an insult. I mean, I would consider it a compliment if I was a fiend. But I'm not a fiend. He's getting some more fiends. He's gonna creep this, gonna get level 2. Meanwhile, Blade is gonna creep this over here. He's gonna get level... Maybe level 3? Go for this null overseer, guys. Meanwhile, skeletons here. What are these skeletons doing here? These skeletons, you know, they're going for these peons. These gold peons, that's for sure. The death knight is level two, guys. He gets a circle. That's nice. That is so nice. And he's getting another troll. Lord Death Storm. He is pretty strong. There's a lich. He is uh, he's going for this base now. Blade, he's going for the Murlocs. Blade's almost level 3, by the way. The Lannister, I mean, for Blade is. And is he attacking yet? He, oh, no, he's building a Lumber Mill, though. Here comes the Death Knight. Three Fiends. So, my question always is, wait. Do you, yeah, do you build more than three Fiends? He builds more than three Fiends. He's going for Lich and a Slaughterhouse as well. So there's a build uh, that Happy likes to do. Sometimes we've seen Lucifer do it as well and other players as well. Where you just build three fiends and then you go uh, Lich and double Slaughterhouse. So that's why the three fiends is like it's like the key number. But he's going for the fourth fiend. Which means we don't see a second Slaughterhouse. We do see a Lich though. A lichy. Lichy Lichy. Lichy Lichy. And do we see attack? There's attack. Do we have masonry? Not yet. Do we get footman? We're getting more footman. What's this? Arcane Vault going up. This Acolyte just standing there. Just, you know, just standing. We're at four fiends now. Nova on this uh, footman. The footman is dead, guys. This water elemental take a lot of damage. 
He also goes down. Nice Nova here on the footman. This footman is taking so much damage. The footman is also down. There's a coil on the lich. Four fiends here and a lich and a death knight. Death knight, the, the, the archmage is focusing death knight. Look at this archmage, by the way. Two circlets, slippers, and a gloss of haste. He just attacks so fast. It says very fast, but it's really so fast. Uh, the feed goes down, and that means Lucifer. I mean, he loses a lot of pressure in here without the fiend. Now that the three fiends, but there's a statue though. The statue means the death knight will not, you know, be in much danger anymore. This uh, water is just working on the statue. This acolyte could be repairing the statue instead of just standing there. But I guess he just likes to stand there. Skeletons, do they want this footman? The footman, 37 hit points. 24 hit points. There's a micro, 11 hit points. No, he dies. The footman dies. And let's see what we have here. We have a fiend. We have a statue. What a game. Oh, this Ogre Magi takes a bit of damage. Here comes the Archmage. He has used a Healing Scroll and a Clarity Potion. So he healed for a lot. A lot, guys. What other metal now in a bit of trouble? He, uh, he's gonna give 58 XP here. 29 to the Death Knight, 29 to the Lich. Pretty nice. Okay, and we see Blade. He wants his item. If this is a good item, this could make such a difference. Compared to being a not so good item. If he gets a book of the dead, can he get in Lucifer's base? Fast. Because you have a time limit, of course. Once we have destroyers, book of the dead gonna be so useless. Let's see what he gets. Book of the dead, usually the most black and white item, right? If it's if it's good, it's great. It's like the best item. Oh, he does get the book of the dead. But if your opponent has dispel, it's like the worst item you can get there. Archmage picked up. Do we have web? We do have web. Uh oh. Archmage will be stuck here. He's just gonna kill all the footmen. And the Archmage uh, is gonna be. Maybe the Zeppelin will be killed as well. And then the Archmage will have to TP. But. Uh, maybe he had a chance to unload. To save his footman. This uh, ogre. Oh, the footman is retreating. Okay. Three footmen do survive, guys. He's going for the Zeppelin. The Archmage he does have a TP, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, there's a TP. So Ogre will go to Lucifer. He is completely dead. Do we have destroyers? There's a destroyer upgrade, guys. There's another fiend. Do we have the orb? Does this guy have the orb? Yeah, the ghoul is bringing the orb. Another dog bringing his item to his master. Arcane Sanctum going up. Of course, over here we see Masonry level 2. He has, a, he has some towers. I'm not sure if it's enough. Let's see. We have two statues. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a lot of destroyers. So, he does need a lot of towers, especially with masonry level 2. He can hold quite well. There's a workshop. There's another workshop. There's an arcane sanctum. So, what does that mean, guys? What does that mean? Don't see a second barracks. Could still be flying machines. There's a Mount King. He's creeping with the Book of the Dead. Because uh, at this point you can't harass with it anymore. There's just uh, gonna be destroyers. And you know. They're gonna eat the skeletons. He's now just killing the skeletons. Yeah sure. He's like I'm doing that here. You guys you guys are so fake. Death Knight picks up the tomes. And all the fake undeadies. They get killed here. I mean they're actually fake undeads. Because they don't get summoned from the bodies. They're actually just, uh, and they go poof when they die instead of falling apart. So they're actually just like, I think they're just like units that look like undead units. Right? But there aren't actually undead units, although they do take coils. So they are somewhat undead units. Okay, maybe, maybe they're kind of like demons that look like undead units. You know, like in, uh, in Doom or something, you have like demons which look like skulls. Right? Those are not undead units, but they are demons and probably these uh these ones are kind of similar the book of the dead and uh, dead units we have a nice flute of accuracy here by the way for uh for mr blade and some sentry words sentry words really good and the uh, flute also very good so fur box aren't real fur box no the fur box are really fur box but that's different the fur box, like when they die, they just go go back where they came from.
Okay, maybe the undead units are the same. I don't know, man. It's so difficult to uh, think about this, how this world works. I am not a professional uh, archaeologist, so it's difficult. We have some knights, we have some spellbreakers, we have some flying machines. We have two flying machines over here. Does he have a flag cannon yet? I'm not sure, but we have a paladin. And the meat wagon is doing... Uh, does he have disease cloud? Not yet. Does he get disease cloud? There's another acolyte. No, he's getting an abomination. Okay, well... Oh, Fiendy! Takes the coil just before he dies. Wow! And can Blade defend this? How many knights does he have? How many knights? He has uh, one knight, two spellbreakers. Ooh, it's gonna be difficult. I don't think he's gonna try even. Does he go... Is he going to try? Blade, of course, he has 64 supplies. He, he might, yeah, he might be able to defend there. There's a Nova, uh, I mean, a uh, Stormbolt. Hello, Chaco. And here come the flying machines, but only two flying machines. There's a militia. Are there any destroyers? Hello? <laughs> he only has one statue? What happened to his second statue? Did it lose it at some point? To the, to the towers, maybe? This meat wagon. This meat wagon is going down, guys. And we have this fight now. I mean, the storage would be pretty good. There goes the knight. One knight, guys, is dead. This uh, fiend takes a coil. This, uh... Oh, what is this guy doing here? Hello, Deathicus. Hello, welcome to 1.29. Where the Dreadlord has been buffed by so much that he's being used, actually. And there goes the fiend. And there, the, the paladin is sleeping again. But the mountain king is in trouble. Uh, but, oh, he used the info potion at like 8 hit points. He survives now. There's a holy light. There's a stormbolt on the fiend. And what is sleeping? Not the paladin. He's dead. But we have more sleeps. These two, two water metals doing so much damage. The flying machine one died. The other one got wept. You can kill it any time. But first go for the mountain king. There's no staff here by the way for blade. To save the mountain kings. And uh, the mountain king totally dead. The archmage is also in trouble guys. Yeah there's more sleep. So the archmage dies for sure. <laughs> this is doing just fine. It's an info potion. And there's a TP as well. Uh, Dreadlord now level 2. I guess he goes for Carrion Swarm. This, I mean, maybe go for Vampiric Orat. Works on your Dreadlord and your Death Knight. And your Abomination. And your Skeletons. I mean, you could go for it, but he did go for Car Carrion Swarm. That works against heroes, against tanks, against peasants. Against, you know, so many units, so... There is the Mount King coming back. We still have this expansion up though. So even though the fight went for Lucifer, Blade is still up in supplies, guys. Blade is still up in supply. So expansion is still mining. Lucifer going for his own expansion. Gets a helm of failure. So maybe that dooms. Maybe the spells failure for uh for Lucifer. Failure. Death Knight is level 5 now though, these, these coils are gonna hurt so much. These heroes are just potato guys. These potato heroes don't stand a chance against real heroes here. And there's no arcane tower anymore, he should have rebuilt the arcane tower. Oh, what a mistake. Nova here killing the peasants so easily. The Death Knight and the Lich and Dreadlord to just, they just walk in. And they kill everything. There goes the guard tower, he's going for the next guard tower. In the main, there's still Arcane Tower and some Guard Towers. There's a Mountain King. He's coming back, guys. He's coming back. The Archmage is so big. He's so powerful. He's bloodlisted. Town Hall going down. Town Hall. He has level 2 Masonry, so it takes some time. Everyone working together, though. It's a nice teaming effort here. Nice team effort. Killing this Town Hall. Like the fiend attacking the door, the skeleton attacking the wall over here, Dreadlord, you know, attacking the, the back here. You know, and together they, they destroyed the wall, the, uh, keep. Still some creeps over there. Mountain King is back, welcome back, level 3 Mountain King, he has double gloves of haste. If he has bash, he does so much bashes. So it's 5, 3, and almost 3, by the way, what a shitty item here for the Archmage. 5, 3, and 3, let's say it's 5, 3, and 3 against 5... Almost five and pretty much three. Okay, okay. What a game, guys. But we have an expo for Lucifer. The Dreadlord level three. 
Ring of Protection plus 3. He has 8.2 armor now. And he has a lot of strength. 825 strength. He doesn't die that easy. He's not as squishy, squishy as he normally is. This Lich also, you know, he's doing just fine. This Acolyte sees a Zeppelin. Maybe he sees the human army as well. Yeah, he does. Paladin level 3. I'm Hunter King level 3. Acolyte is dead. And what do we get? Do we get uh, Destroyers? There's a destroyer, just as I talk about it. First destroyer of the game, guys. First destroyer of the game. What are the upgrades? Two and zero on the fiends and the destroyers. And do we have flying machines? No. So, I think Lucifer could just build as many destroyers as he wants against his army and just win the game. But he needs, uh, yeah, I think he could just make two more destroyers. I think these guys are better as destroyers than statues. But we'll see. Lucifer is doing just what Lucifer does. 67 supply for Lucifer. 75 here for Blade. Blade has a supply advantage. But, I mean, what does he have against the destroyers? Nothing. Knights. Okay, now he's building some flying machines again. Oh, he didn't have flag cannon. He's getting it now. Not that it matters. Oh, wait. Now there's two uh, destroyers, so now it matters. The sorceress dies this paladin. Of course, he has divine shield. I mean, I assume there was sleep level 2, but I'm not sure. It might be uh, sleep level 1 and level 2 carrying swarm. We'll see here in a moment. Maybe we'll see here in a moment. Uh, this fiend is sleep. Okay, there it is. Sleep level one. And scary swarm level two. Uh, this knight is in trouble. The footman is also in trouble. The dreadlord is not in that much trouble. He takes a coil. And he's just fighting with the uh, armor as well. Hello, 44% damage reduction with the frost armor level two. Uh, wait, is that frost armor level two? Yeah, frost armor level two. And Lich does TP out. This knight almost dies. Or does he die? No, Holy Light saves him. Nice save there by the Holy Light. What a game, guys. What a game. But Lucifer is gonna win this game. I don't think Blade knows about this expansion. He never scouted it. He didn't expect it. And he's just gonna die because of it. Blade is behind the supply. He's behind in income. He's behind in hero levels. As you guys can see at the bottom right. He's behind in... Um, Lumber even. Lucifer has more lumber. That is the the major difference, of course. It's because Lucifer has two, three ghouls there. And over here we have just a few peasants. Destroyer though! <laughs> He's being hunted down by flying machines. I mean, there's a coil. And I think these flying machines now for the first time will scout this expansion. Or they won't. But they see Lucifer hanging out over here. So he knows there's an expansion over there. I don't think he's seen the blight yet. Because uh, night time. And towards they don't have night vision. Only night elves have and bad riders. Okay we have this. Uh, here comes the fight. There's a nice carrying swarm. Now those damage against flying machines guys. Welcome to 1.29. Uh, these guys that get whapped. There's a coil on the lich. Death Knight is under attack though. The Death Knight gets frost armor, so he, uh, you know, doesn't die very easily. He TP's out of that surround. There's a shop going up, so he can buy as many items as he wants. Dreadlord level 4, now he has level uh, 2 sleep. He TP's behind the uh, shop. I feel like that was maybe a mistake, but... I mean, the shop now is going to die and there's nothing he can do about it. After he dies and opens up, yeah, then he can defend this base. And now it is gone, guys. This abomination is still stuck, though. This death knight is still stuck, though. <laughs> there goes the fiend. The fiend. Oh no, he survives. Thank you, Coil. But it, does he survive? The mountain king sleeps for, just for fun, he's, uh, or just because he's tired. And a uh, paladin dies. And what else is gonna die? Well, the mountain king is just sleeping. All the destroyers. Oh, two more destroyers. They can eat the water elementals, of course. And there's a the GG by Blade. First game goes to Lucifer. He wins the game. Is he going for a Archmage fast expand? Yeah. We're gonna see so much expense, and I thought it was gonna be a bad map for Undead. But remember, hello guys, this used to be a ma bad map in 1.28 and in the past. But 1.29, the Dreadlord is so good. Hello, increased movement speed. Hello, increased sleep. Uh, you know, lower mana cost and increased carrying swarm targets and damage and everything. This is such a different game now nowadays, guys. Such a different game. 1.29 is so different than 1.28. So look at the Dreadlord. He has Bane. It's Bane. Hello. Hello. Bane. Hello. 
And he's going for this expansion. Here we have Feral Spellbinder. And he is creeping some innocent creepies. And that is just something he does for fun. I mean, it's something a lot of heroes do for fun. It's like their hobbies. Like, imagine the Archbishop is going on a, on a date. And, you know, the girl's like, so... Uh, what do you like to do for fun? And he's like, I like to kill creeps. I'm not sure how well the date is going to go. But we have two farms there, one farm over there. And does he build some more, uh, you know, some more footmen, maybe? First, he's going to build an expansion, maybe. Let's see what he does with his money. He has 483 money. Okay, he built something. A town hall, of course. There it is. Everyone, uh, everyone together, guys. Okay, they listen to me and they're working together. There's another footman. Look at this. Bane Hollow just creeping the creep camp. There is a haunted gold mine going up. Haunted gold mine going up. There's some more ghouls. We have four ghouls. And there's the fifth ghoul, guys. There's the fifth ghoul. This bottom metal is in trouble. It goes down. The Archmage. Two gloves of haste. Two gloves of haste, guys. Over here, we see some more acolytes. I uh, mean, peasants. This Bane. Hello. Is doing just fine. By the way, if anyone in my chat wants mod, just join the contest. Just win the contest, guys. That's how you get uh, mod in my channel. This ghoul is doing just fine, you know. There's a sleep on the Archmage. The Archmage. Oh, he's he's doing some damage. This ghoul taking a lot of damage. This ghoul. He, oh, where's he going? Where's the ghoul going? The ghoul is going for the Archmage. He wants the Archmage. The ghoul doesn't even die. The Archmage dies. Hello. The ghoul now dies, but no XP given. So who cares? And this Dreadlord, the Pain Hello, showing you guys why the Dreadlord is so good in 1.29. He has wings. He wants to kill his footman. This footman is going to die. This ghoul is just healing here. Maybe the footman sees the ghoul. And Archmage. I mean, there's no tavern on this map. Archmage will be back soon. And Pain Hello, just saying hello to these gnolls. This, this ogre mauler is just getting all helloed. Meanwhile, footman going back home. What if Happy wins your contest and start banning people in your chat? I I said that if the the mod abuses his mod powers, I will unmod him. But at least he was mod then maybe for like five minutes or two minutes. It's still nice. You can still tell your friends, hey, I was uh, mod in Hide Chaco's channel for like two minutes. Yeah. We see some acolytes here. There's an acolyte. Okay, Necropolis is uh, up soon. Okay, Bane, how low? He has seven armor. Seven armor, guys. Seven armor. He has five ghouls. Seven armor. I keep forgetting to DD, &D, guys. Because you cannot DD &D in a game. So uh, here come the ghouls. The ghouls going for these peasants. So many peasants there. Here comes the Archmage. So much water elemental. And the Archmage has uh, two gloves of haste. So he attacks very fast. So even though the, uh, the Dreadnought has a lot of armor. He still takes a lot of damage. Because the Archmage is like a minigun. And like even a, like a thousand needles can still kill you. Even though one needle doesn't do... Actually one needle already hurts. Um, I shouldn't use needles. A thousand marshmallows. Like if someone throws a marshmallow at you doesn't hurt but if he throws 1000 marshmallows at you you are going to die guys and that's what happened in this game this uh, archmage throwing marshmallows i mean relative you know in this in this analog uh, meta, uh how do you call it analogy analogy yeah analogy sure so uh yeah this dreadlord with the armor is nice he keep it home Archmage he wants, what does he want? What does he want? He's killing trappers guys. Trappers dying, there's a shredder. There's a water elemental. There's an ogre. Shockwave, so nice. Archmage, level 3, so nice. His footman, uh, 41 hit points, so nice. Kaplingaling, 100 bits. Here's 100 marshmallows. Thanks Dagel85 uh, da for the 100 marshmallows. 
I didn't know the marshmallows were one cent each, but now I know. Thanks a lot. Your support is beautiful. Arkmage picks up a uh, crystal ball. Does he use it? I mean, he already knows about this expansion, right? Does he use it in the main? Uh, someone else used the... No, Zeppelin. He buys Zeppelin. Hello, pick up the tome. No, don't pick it up. Okay, don't pick it up. Okay, he picks it up. Okay, we have Footman here. Just so low on hit points. And Dreadler sees the low hit by Footman. And he's like, okay, it is my turn now. And he... By the way, he didn't go for Vampiric Aura. He went level 2 sleep, level 2 Vampiric Aura. If you guys didn't realize already. And he is saying, hello. He has Healing Wars as well. There's a Shredder. Shredder just cutting down some trees. And here comes the Dreadlord with the ghouls. We have seven ghouls and two skeletons. And that's pretty nice. There's a, a nice carrion swarm. The Dreadlord here is... Oh, nice. He kills the healing ward. Dreadlord has nice 58 mana. So... I mean, sleep is 65 mana at this point. Carrion Swarm is 100 mana. Doesn't have much more spells. And Blade Defense is holding, guys. He is a tier 2. Is he getting anything else? Like, Blade, he has a lot of money. Not a lot of lumber. This shredder should definitely work a bit harder. Maybe cut the trees over there instead of the trees over there. I'm just uh, suggesting a way to get more lumber, Blade. A nice pass by Lucifer. A nice pass, guys. We like nice passes. This is a very nice pass. Lucifer has 1677 ping. He's playing... Is he playing from hell, guys? Is he playing from home instead of from Korea? Maybe. Maybe, guys. Go. Go. Well, the Dreadlord here going for this uh, creep camp in the center. This cool. Three ghouls over there working on this knoll. PG Cup is not on that ease. No, it's on uh, Battle.net. This knoll overseer going down. And there's just one knoll overseer left, guys. Meanwhile, Blade. Clap hits two units. I mean, you might as well clap the third one as well. We have a clap here, here. A Mount King, guys. Is the Dreadlord level 5 yet? Almost. Three gargoyles. How many gargoyles is he gonna make? Well, has double crypt. Has a slaughterhouse now. And of course, here at the other side, we see a blacksmith. Oh, this peasant is stuck. Oh, no. No one's gonna cancel this blacksmith to save him. It must look so unfair from the peasant's perspective and from the peasant's uh, family's perspective. They're like, all you had to do was cancel the blacksmith and you could have saved a life. Like, a life is worth more than a little building, hello. But in war, guys, this peasant's life is not worth more than a blacksmith. He needs a blacksmith. He doesn't need a peasant. No one cares about peasants. Nice Karen Swarm! Kills, I said level 3, there must be level 3 Karen Swarm. Uh, this gargoyle dies to the towers though. And here come the footman. There's a healing ward does get uh, destroyed. Pain, hello, just wants to get level 6. And then he wins the game, of course. Oh, what was it? Karen Swarm. He had like like one peasant or something? This Mountain King with the clap. Clap is very strong. But is it strong enough here to win the game? This uh, Gargoyles to going for a Water Metal. A oh, Water Metal expires, I believe. What is this? Hello. Why is the circle there? Okay, well, uh, Mountain King picks it up. Bane, hello, is uh, fighting against Footman. The Footman goes down. Nice clap again. Hello, these Gargoyles. He's killing some Footman as well. They don't have defense. And what is this, by the way? Meanwhile, an expansion going up here by the by the peasants. This peasant is very low. The, oh, level six, but no mana for Infernal, guys. But he's just like, okay, that's all I wanted. I'll I'll come back. I'll come back. <laughs> Lucifer, he's like, I bet he's laughing right now. This is actually how Lucifer looks, by the way, in real life. I mean, he is just a demon, and he he's just coming back with an Infernal stone. <laughs> he, oh no, he's just healing mana. It's not a stone, actually. It's just an infernal from the sky. Just, just wait. Just wait, you guys. Just wait. A blade. Just blade is gonna get infernal on. It's gonna be so beautiful. It's gonna be so insane. These uh, gargoyles here, flying around. 
This peasant is still alive. This shredder is uh, it's going down. <laughs> Things under 50 for infernal. I believe so as well, guys. Under 75. I think it's under 50, but uh, we'll see. We'll see it drop down here in a moment. Let's see who's right and who's wrong and who is getting infernal. Oh, it might be under 75, right? Wasn't he at 250? Uh, he does have, uh, you know, he's sleeping, sleeping the Mountain King. Another sleep and he's dead. Do we have staff? No staff. I mean, he's not even a cat. Oh, he is a castle. Uh, Griffin Aviators are nice. Dragonhawks are nice, but... Wait, wait, where did the Inferno go? Oh, there he is! Killing peasants! He also has an innate cloak of flames, guys. He is doing so much damage against the peasants. And then he can kill the town hall. He does chaos damage, so he kills town halls pretty fast. And all these peasants are dead. Of course, his expansion is up, but the ghoul is gonna scout it. This ghoul might help this ghoul kill all these peasants. And this... He's working on the farm. Okay. This guy, 13 hit points, survives. His water elemental will take a bit of damage. Uh, wait, he just went down. Bane, Bane, how low is almost level 7? Which means he's going for level 3. Either level 3 sleep or Vampiric Aura. Maybe Vampiric Aura. He has uh, gargoyles. He's fighting against dragon hogs. Maybe. You never know. You never know. This guy is just destroying buildings. He killed the farm. Now he's working on the shop. Uh, there goes the water elemental. GG. First game. Go. Uh, I mean, second game goes to Lucifer. There's a Ziggurat. Second Ziggurat. I don't like the white outlines. I don't like them either. But without it, it's like impossible to read. So I'm thinking maybe I can make a glow or something or a shadow that looks better. Uh, I just I didn't give it much. I, I didn't give put much effort in it. I just wanted to make it readable. And with the white outline, at least you can read it. There goes the sheep. The sheep is dead. Especially this black color, you couldn't be, you wouldn't be able to read it on my overlay at all. You wouldn't even notice it was there. It would just be like, hey Chaco, the name is missing. Anyway, the list here going, nice Nova here on the forest wall, Berserker. Over here we have an Archmage. He picks up an item. Close of attack plus six, he's killing some units here. That's nice. And uh, he's level two, Peril Spellbinder. The Lich is killing some trolls. This first two trapper is going down. We have Ross Frost Whisper, by the way. He whispers frost in your ears, and then you die out of uh, from a frost nova. Here come Alicia, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only six? Okay. That's a very light on the militia. Usually, this creep camp, they use eight militia to creep it, but Blade is just going with six militia. Okay. There's four footmen though, so there's a fifth footman. Meanwhile, it's Lich. Lich is just creeping. He doesn't care about harassing. Imagine Nova here. But no. He's all the way over here. He's doing his own stuff. He has a replenishment potion, building more ghouls. What a ga game, guys. What a game. GC Lucy Gogo -Go level 6. There's brown, not black. No, this is black. Uh, brown is a different color. Or is it? I mean, it looks a bit brownish. Oh well, it's a color, guys. On my overlay, it looks more blackish, though. This school here is going to the right. We have an Archmage. He buys boots. And here we have a nice dust, guys. The Lich is almost level 3. The Archmage is level 3. He has boots. <laughs> this Lich here. Oh, these peasants split them! Hello, Blade. Okay, he's, he's too busy micro against the Archmage. He, he doesn't have the micro to also split his peasants at the same time. And look at these Novas. Okay, I think the Nova, uh, maybe one to the right would have been better. But sure, I'll, I'll take it. This Lich is... Oh, if you only had like one more XP. Now he's level 3. The Nova would have done so much more damage. There's Nova on the Archmage. The Archmage though. He is uh, so fast. And he has also has Cloak of Shadows. So he's going to be fine guys. And this expansion now is up. 
So I think, uh, yeah, the Lich cannot do that much more damage. Nice Nova here on the Footman. The Footman is going to die. He can eat some units. Lich can eat some units for more Novas. He's going to tier 2. Building a graveyard. There's a ghoul. Here comes the Lich, guys. Here he comes. Here he goes, at least. He's gonna buy some boots. Is he gonna buy staff or both or neither? There's boots. Okay, just boots. Luckily, I see this on the minimap. Luckily, my eyes are so good. It's insane. I can see all these uh, little units on the minimap. I bet you guys can't. Uh, depending on what quality you watch on. Maybe if you watch on source quality, you can see it as well. This ghoul, uh, this peasant here taking a lot of damage. Three ghouls just killing this guy. Skeleton eaten here by the Lich, of course. There's a Nova on these peasants. The Lich, uh, he lost a lot of mana. Archmage just, you know, just doing so much damage, killing the ghouls, trying to at least before he loses all his peasants. There's just two peasants left. This peasant goes down. There's one peasant left, and these ghouls might go to the back. This ghoul, uh, very low. Does he TP out here? He loses the one more ghoul. Does he? Uh, where's the TP? There it is. A bit late. I think he could have uh, TP'd like a second or two earlier and saved that ghoul. This ghoul kind of died in vain. And there's a death knight. There's a fiend, there's a slaughterhouse. Blade, I think, you know, Blade has an advantage, doesn't he? I mean, let's see, let's look at the XP. How, I mean, he killed a lot of peasants. Let's count these peasants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven peasants. For two ghouls and a TP. But we have an expansion for humans, so, you know, he's getting much more income. Archmage is level... He has 777, uh, 778 XP. The Lich has 811 now. And Death Knight has some XP as well. Lord Maldazar. Taco flavored keys. Let me uh, read it and thank you after the game. Well, I can say thank you already, Alsaria. But the taco flavored keys, etc. I'll give those after the game. Here comes the Illusion. Illusion. Okay, this illusion. The, the list is almost level 4. Level 2 Frost Nova. Uh, le I mean, level 2 Dark Ritual gives so much mana for so many Frost Novas. It's insane. The Archmage with the flank attack on the Lich. But the Lich won't die anymore with uh, Lord Maldazar here. I mean, it's not like it was dying earlier, but I'm just saying it's pretty difficult to die here for the Lich. And uh, do we see tier 2 yet? He's going to tier 2. He will be there soon. There goes Footman. Here come the towers. Does he have masonry? No masonry yet. But I'm sure he's upgrading masonry level 1. Is so Water Metal going down? What do we get here, by the way? No tier 3 yet for Lucifer. Okay. Uh, I'm sure he got the Water Metal. He's working on the next one right now. There is masonry. There's another tower, but it wasn't finished. Okay. There's Nova. The Archmage is level 4 now because of the Water Elementals. The Death is level 2 now. We get the Aura. So this ghoul takes a coil. This footman goes down. Uh, footman going home. The Archmage can snipe it, but it will take some time. Meaning that he cannot defend over here. And he lets a he lets a ghoul go. Uh, footman dying there. Was it a Nova? I'm sure there was a Nova. The list is out of mana. And where's the first statue? Hello. There it is. There's that first statue. The Archmage tries to snipe it, but the statue is so sneaky. Walking uh, or floating around the Archmage. There's no orb yet because he's still tier 2. Is he attacking now? He's, there it is. He's going to Black Citadel. Some more ghouls joining the army. And over here we have a castle. Arcane Sanctum. And a Mountain King. Nova on the Archmage. What a fight, guys. Lich against Archmage. They both have boots. Lich just gonna buy something, maybe? Death Knight is creeping. Oh, he lost a ghoul. He lost a ghoul to creeps, guys. But the ghoul is now two skeletons, so he's still fighting. The ghoul, there's no rest for the ghoul. The flute is pretty good here. The Archmage is stuffed. Was it the Archmage? Yeah, there he is. And he got some uh, clarity potion. Got a clarity potion. By the manner, a health potion. Hello, potion of healing. There are four guard towers here an arcane tower and a scout tower. This tower was finished. He has some guard towers over here. Here they're beautifully split. 
over here they're like all bunched together interesting Two workshops. There's Arcane Sanctum, building spellbreakers, and he's sieging the tower, guys. Uh, the the town hall, guys. The town hall is under siege. Level one masonry. He's getting gunpowder for his uh, units from the workshop. There's no tier three here yet. Ooh, a sapper over here would be amazing, but can he sneak it in? Is he even going for the Zepper? The ghoul makes sure he buys the Zeppelin so that the Zeppelin cannot be bought no, by a blade. Although the Zeppelin cooldown is super low. This is the lowest cooldown out of anything in the game, really. Especially units that you can buy. Nice Nova here, kill some peasants. Uh, there's a meat wagon attack. That one I'll uh, also think later. Oh, sorry, yeah. There's a sapper. Look how sneaky the sapper is. He's going to explode over here. Maybe he can hit all three of them. But does Lucifer see me? Lucifer sees him. Sapper shot. No. No. This was this was uh, game deciding, by the way. I think you know if this sapper went off, like Blade would have probably won this game. And again, the other sapper also seen here. The Zeppelin, of course, can see the sappers already. Uh, much earlier. And GG. Blade just GG's out. And Lucifer wins 3 to 0, guys. He wins not only the third game, he not only this best of five, he wins this cup, guys. He wins a PG Cup 18. And let's see how much money he earns here. Let's see how rich he became. Well, well, well let's see. Oh, Blade also got monies. Lucifer, 1050 rubles, guys. That's a lot of rubles. That's 1.05k 1, 1. rubles.